My lady, do you think we can have tea in the garden today? Why are you talking like that? I think we should have tea in the garden. It's a beautiful day. Are you going to make the tea? No. Oh, but we can have one of the solid people make tea. Mm, Chelsea. <laughs> no. We can definitely have tea. Hi, I'm Kai Kumar from Middlesbrough Football Club. Moving to Middlesbrough, it happened in September. A day of my birthday, actually, September 1st. My agent called me and said, you know, uh, there's a few clubs that's interested. It's kind of sad to say, you know, I was leaving Kansas City, you know, to make that move, but, you know, I was out here already in England, so I kind of wanted to come back. There's so many games that we have to play. I mean, sometimes you're playing, you know, it's like three games in, I don't even know, what, eight days or something like that, and there's so many games, so it's very competitive when it comes down to it. They demand more in this country. Middlesbrough, it's a big name, you know, in England. What they've done before playing in the Premiership and what they've done around Europe, it's really big and people still want to get back up there, you know, but it's not, it, don't, it doesn't happen that quick. Middlesbrough calendar, check out that beard, man. September birthday, get your calendar, Kai Kamar, and I'll sign it. Getting ready for games here is different than back in America, man. You know, I always love my sleep in the morning, wake up, have some, you know, really good breakfast, pancakes and all that. Get ready for that night game. My hair games are early. Just, just driving through this country roads, man. I love it, you know, in the morning. It doesn't take me long to go to training. But there's nothing around, nothing is here, you know. It's just, it's just you. Tractors, you know. Hello, Kick TV. Welcome to my neighborhood, Middlesbrough Training Center. Let's go. We gotta be careful, though. Kim, have you seen any naked guys running around this place? We got them bad boys straight from the US. This is my man Andy. He's gonna tell you how good I am in the gym. Every day I'm in here, every morning. Yeah, uh, yeah, absolutely. Every single day, guys, in the gym. Come on in. It's one of my best friends around here. He really likes me. This is Shay Gibbons. He's my best friend. Look at him, taking protein shake. I've been on the sunbed as you can see. <laughs> There's another big goalkeeper, look at him. Keep away. Yeah. Big Dimmy, right Chewbacca. here. <laughs> Shay calls him Chewbacca. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do this now. <laughs> Wait, check out my locker, check out my locker. I had to welcome you, Kick TV. Yeah, no, Pictures, this is... These are my motivation family. That's my motivation. This is a game I'm really good at. So. He said this is the game I'm good at. Yeah. Out. This is what happens when you've been bribed on table. <laughs> oh, no. I know it's match fixing, no. but I shouldn't. No! Okay. This is the camera's for him. Hey, that was one of the best wins I've ever had, by the way. <laughs> Biggest adjustment in this uh, move here to England, I can say, apart from driving on the right side <laughs> of the road, um, food. Food's a bit different, you know? I miss Chipotle. <laughs> I miss the... Uh, they don't have real bacon. I haven't found real bacon here yet, you know. But, uh, you know, I have my missus and she's a good cook. She loves being in the kitchen. So uh, she, she tends to, you know, kind of make things that, you know, we do have back home. She cooks the dinner. I wash the dishes. Only if dinner's good. If dinner's not good, I'm not washing. So, but I've been washing dishes for four years, so. The weather in England. It's really good, really. It's just always wet, you know. I'm getting used to it, I like it. Because when you're playing football, really, this is the perfect weather to play in. You never get tired, you can just run all day. First snow day in, over here. Still a nice day though. People see me as being crazy on the, on the media and all that, but I like being home, I like, you know, hanging out at home. Every once in a while we go out and do stuff, but this neighborhood is like perfect for us. Going to Kansas City, you know, that's where you know, I met Kristen there. She, you know, she worked for the club. Um, yeah, 
people really don't do that and all that but you know it ended up being really good for us uh four years now you know getting married this summer and obviously we adopted chelsea the dog from you know from a, a local shelter there way sideways and uh she's been part of the family it's been great so me coming here first three months was kind of on my own and then she decided uh, she will move out here with me and live out here and uh, obviously we couldn't leave Chelsea back there so that's really family we talk about that all the time it's where all three of us are that's where it feels like home you know when you can have you know the people that you love around you it's been a long road you know moving from Sierra Leone my mom left actually when I was about six years old I went to the US to live in the US so you know I lived with my uh, my auntie, you know, um, she raised me up. She uh, had a few kids of her own, so we're all brothers and sisters. Instead of calling each other cousins in Africa, we kind of really don't do that. Civil War broke right when my mom left, so lived there for so many more years and wasn't able to get out. So it was tough, it was sad, you know, to be a kid and living through stuff that you had nothing to do with. You know, just waking up different days and not really knowing what's gonna happen or seeing things that little kids, you know, should not see. And uh, I've just been blessed to really get the opportunity um, through a refugee program to uh, come out of, you know, Sierra Leone, going through a um, neighbor in Gambia, and uh, from there going to the US um, in 2000. It was definitely a time where, you know, you never really think you're gonna make it out of there. My nephew, me and Kristen back in uh, Sierra Leone, um, me and my brother, Raphael, um, out in Sierra Leone. I am 100% committed to helping my country, Sierra Leone. I started giving out um, scholarships in my local town of Kenema, where I was born and you know, raised, um, to schools and kids, and really just show them that somebody's watching. You know, If you keep doing well, you know, somebody's watching, somebody's gonna help you. Playing soccer back home in Sierra Leone, or football, I should say, I just grew up just playing with you know my friends in the neighborhood playing after school. I finally started playing, you know, organized and proper soccer when I came to the US. I was 18 then and that was the first time I actually put on a, uh, a jersey and saying, okay, now I'm gonna go play for a team. And one thing led to another, I kept pushing my, my soccer and uh, you know the grades and I got into Cal State Dominguez Hills. Cal State Dominguez Hills is where the Galaxy Stadium is. I worked for the Galaxy on game days. <laughs> I trained with the Galaxy every once in a while. Ziggy was the coach then, and Ziggy uh, picked me up, you know, made me train with the Galaxy a lot more, and drafted me in 2006. And now we're in 2014, and I've been a professional for uh, about eight, nine years now. My uh, signature goal celebration, my St. Patrick's Day dance. No, 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 that, not that one. My uh, heart-shaped hands. It's been before Gareth Bale, so I hope he knows that. Tomorrow we got a Leeds United, you know, Middlesbrough and Leeds United. It's like this big, you know, rivalry going in today. Still don't know what the starting lineup will be yet. We have meetings, pre-game meal. Then we get in the bus and drive to the stadium. Mentally in my head, I'm ready to go and uh, just ready to play. I don't remember the last time I've sat, you know, outside not playing for this long. So it's really, really tough. But you know, just being positive every day and just knowing for sure, you know, I'm gonna get back in it and I'm gonna change things. That's yoga session done. The day I got injured, when I, you know, tore my MCL, was the same day that Sporting won the the cup. So sitting here watching it, it was a little bit like, uh, you know how that one feels. But uh, you know, I'm so positive about it. Everything happens for a reason. I love my boys in Kansas, and uh, it's been a tough road really coming back because I've been pushing myself a lot, but I haven't really you know been on the pitch as much as I wanted to. I feel like uh, you know I've been ready in the past couple of weeks, um, but. You know, I can't, you know, just put myself in there. Hopefully this Saturday playing against Leeds, which is, they you know, call it local derby here. Who knows, you know, maybe this might be the time I get back to get, you know, may maybe more than 20 minutes in the game and uh, get that glory goal. Yes. <laughs>it's great to be back on the field and uh, first time in a good while to be back, you know, starting. So uh, I felt great. Tough, tough result at the end, you know. I wish I would have, you know, put myself back in the score sheet, but definitely felt good to just be back on the field. So I'm happy about it. Maybe, you know, it's you guys, Kick TV, bringing me luck and sending me back on the field. Thanks for hanging out with me, and uh, it's been great.
Make sure to follow me on Instagram at 2K3 and also follow me on Twitter at Kai Kamara.